You can look out on a calm ocean and it looks like nothing's happening. But in reality, there are so many forces that are happening within that water. It's going to change at night. It's going to change depending on where you are on the planet. You have ice that's melting and forming. The pH will change as you change how much CO2 gets absorbed. So really, there's nothing in the ocean that's static. And that makes it even harder to study because any point in time is only really reflective of that point in time. We've only been recording the environment in detail for the last maybe 20 years with some ship data from the past you know, 120 years. We can go ahead and measure for hundreds of years in the future, but the imperative to understand how our climate system works is really now. And so we need to understand the system back through history. I think it would surprise people to know that there are natural instruments that we have in the ocean collecting this data for us. Corals grow in these large formations and they're building skeleton as they grow. As they secrete their skeletons, they will take in chemicals from the seawater based on the conditions they're growing in. And so we can go back and look at specific chemicals that tell us information about temperature, pH, salinity, and reconstruct those environmental conditions over the past several hundred years. A living coral would go back 500 years, but we can also look at fossil corals that can go back through the last 10,000 years. At this point, humans are having a very large impact on the environment, a larger impact than we can understand what will happen as a result. Little changes can make such a large difference in how the ocean moves and circulates and what that means for the life that's in it. The only way that we can really improve our ability to make good management decisions is to understand how the system worked before we were impacting it. Protecting corals is important for so many reasons. It's really, really important for biodiversity. They provide significant coastal protection in storms. And from my perspective, it would take us enormous numbers of years and financial dollars to instrument the earth as well as the reefs are being able to preserve these samples provides us with an enormous resource for understanding our climate system, both in the future and back in time. Thank you.